doing a tackle box review on the Nomad, the Wild River Nomad by CLC. So let's get started. All right. So first off, on the front, we have um, a pliers holder, and I have this nothing special, just a like working needle nose, and then um, what's it called? Attached to it, it came with like a lanyard type thing with my line, line cutters. You can put like um, nail clippers, but I have these uh, special nylon cutting scissors on there, even though I use braid. But um, yeah, and then right next to it, I have these clamping needle nose things. Um, I use these actually more than I use the green regular needle nose because they work just much better overall. Um, on the right side, um, on the loops, over here we have um, a you know, buck hunting knife. It um, works really good for what I use it for. I mean, um, you don't need anything special unless you like special stuff like me. <laughs> yeah, it was expensive, so I bought it. Um, right next to it, I have this degorger, and um, yeah. So on the right side over here, we have um, what's it called? A stringer in the rubberized mesh area, and then in the zippered area, I have a 65 pound Power Pro line. You could hold a whole bunch of other stuff in there. I used to have two spools, but I haven't gone to the store yet. Um, back onto this side, I have a lighter for a uh, cutting line, um, like a cleaning stone. Um, it's a KDV thing that came with a fillet kit, and then um, uh, off clip on refill. Um, yeah, okay, so back to the front again. Um, right here, um, in the front, the pocket, um, it, it's kind of like serves as a table or a workspace, and you could also keep um, like a bag of soft plastics in there if you really needed to, even though there's room on the sides. <laughs> I just use it as a table, and then in here I have a knife sharpener and some cards I picked up at Devil's Lake. Um, oh yeah, also on the front right here, I've got this handy little uh, three-stage LED light. Can they see? Can they see it? Yeah. No. Not really. No? How about now? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then there's a green stage. So low, high, green. Um, you can shine it onto here. If you're a fly fisherman, you can make a fly or if you need to like tie something or like, tangle, whatever, then you can do that on the table too. Just a really nice space. Um, <coughs> down here on the side pockets, what's it called? Um, it has these like nice sturdy uh, divider, and um, I have some Gary Yamamoto uh, five-inch smoke root beer uh, Sankos, and then there's a rubber my rubberized mesh area where I keep a uh, thing of bug spray and all of my leaves. You could uh, take off, and if you're like hunting, um, clip on right here. So like you hang it from a tree, I think. I don't really hunt, but it's a pretty cool feature. Over on this side, again, uh, same thing without the rubberized mesh. I have about 50 Berkeley, and they have 2.0 magnification. Uh, uh, yeah, they're polarized. Yeah. Um, and then. And up the top, I'll show you the top pocket. So in here, at the top, um, there's a clear area right away. I think it's a watertight zipper, so I don't know. It would probably sink if you're on a boat and got wet, but yeah, good feature. But um, So I like to keep my phone in here, and yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, in here, I keep my um, bass attractant. And then I have my real magic in here. Um, I guess this was a bigger can than usual, but I usually have my real magic right on the rubberized mesh area. Um, also in here, I have a fillet glove and some armored gloves, and granola bars and a multi tool and a um, <laughs> what's it called tape measure. All right. Um, <laughs> Sorry if I say mm, too much. It's just um, <laughs> it's just a habit. Yeah. It's just a habit. I'm sorry. Uh, in here I hold four, I think 
36 or 3700 series trays. Um, these are the Wild River ones. I got it with the trays. And I have um, most of, well, I don't use most of the lures in here, but when I do, yeah. I do. You don't have to take them out by one. I use them, yeah. So, you just don't take them out by I know. Well, um, I'm okay. just kind of just show them. Like, uh, this is the tray I usually use. It has most of my bass lures and stuff. The crankbaits and crankbaits and crankbaits. And then here there's hooks, and then here there's just more crap. So, yeah, pretty much classic works in the bottom. Oh, I've never heard you say crap. Really? <laughs> okay, um, anyway. Yeah, so that's that, and... Oh, yeah, on the back. One of the coolest features, right here, open the zip compartment, and pull this out. It starts to rain, and you, like, need to get back to your, um, like wherever, home or car or something. There's a rain fly, so um, nothing gets uh, wet or anything, and light doesn't get destroyed, and you know, if you don't want your bag wet, which I wouldn't, it was really expensive. Uh, yeah, you can use this. It's a really nice feature. I really like it. Um, on the back, there's really, um, really padded. It's really comfortable. Even if you put this in, like, horrible, just stuff it in there. Um, it's still comfortable and everything. You, it's like a thick layer of whatever is in here. Uh, foamy yellow. It's, it has an orange everywhere, but foamy crap. So, um, yeah. That pretty much concludes my review of um, my tackle box. You forgot one thing? What did I forget? <laughs> uh, you know how, like, you're... Yeah, the the light shines in. You can also like the light can also oh, shine yeah. in. Oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> we're at the top. So if it's dark and you need to see what's inside, um, the light, uh, it you shut it and there's a hole in there, so it will shine inside of the backpack and um, you can see what's in there. And also, I forgot to mention this too. If you take everything out of the top and bottom, there's a collapsible midsection, so you can use it as one really big hunting and fishing bag. I sometimes take that out if I need to bring the camera somewhere or if I'm not fishing filming for my friends. But yeah, so that pretty much concludes my review of my um, tackle box slash backpack. Um, then again, this is the um, Wild River Nomad by CLC. Go check it out. It was really nice. Quite expensive. 150 I got it for. It was on sale. But I think it's worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and please remember to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. <laughs> this is Zach from the Bass Attack Crew, and today we're going to be doing a tackle box review on the Nomad, the Wild River Nomad by CLC. So let's get started. Alright, so first off on the front, we have um, a pliers holder, and I have this, nothing special, just a like working needle nose, and then... Um, what's it called? Attached to it. It came with like a lanyard type thing with my li line cutters. You can put like um, nail clippers, but I have these uh, special nylon cutting scissors on there, even though I use braid. But um, yeah. And then right next to it, I have these clamping needle nose things. Um, I use these actually more than I use the green regular needle nose.